Well, with less than six games left in the Atlantic 10 regular season, all of the games are important, but this one was extremely important for both St. Louis and St. Joseph's, and St. Louis winds up winning it by 273-71. And, Steve, this was a very entertaining game. Very entertaining game. They, both teams played well, especially in the second half offensively. But Ahmad Nivens, 22 points, 11 rebounds, 8 for 14. This guy rarely misses a shot. And a little surprising he was able to do that because Rick Majerus' team packs it in so much, and he was able to get off a lot of shots. But his jump shot from the perimeter, to me, was the big difference in the game tonight for him. Yeah, he led all scores with those 22 points. Another double-double. He also found some of his teammates as well, as we saw with Garrett Williamson there. And he is arguably the best player in the Atlantic 10, but even his effort wasn't enough for St. Joseph's tonight. Well, they, you know, Tashid Carr didn't play particularly well. Darren Govins, Govins didn't play particularly well. So when they don't have those two guys making big contributions, even though the bench did for St. Joseph's tonight, then it's going to be hard for them. Now, on the flip side, not only did St. Louis get good work off the bench, Barry Eberhardt was in double digits, but also their freshman point guard, Kwame Mitchell, he was sizzling from the outside. Well, he was averaging 15 points a game in his last six games and five rebounds coming into tonight, and he has just kept it up. He made five threes tonight and he made some very tough shots he directed the team very well had hardly any they didn't have a lot of turnovers as a team they were very efficient and we have to also throw in the fact that willie reed their 6'9 freshman had 11 points and five rebounds also played well so a great night for rick majerus's team because the freshmen led the way four different scores and double figures for st louis and now the standings in the atlantic 10 rhode island jumps up they're right behind temple now each with eight wins but st louis is now a notch ahead of St. Joseph's, if only because they won this ball game today. Well, it's so important to come in the top four. That way you get a buy in the first round. You, all you have to do is, well, all you have to do, make it sound easy, <laughs> is win three games in three days, man. It's better than winning four games in four days, no doubt about it. Well, three games in three days, and you still have that Dayton-Xavier tandem that you have to deal with as well. At least you would think you would. 73-71, the final score. St. Louis has defeated St. Joseph's. For Steve Lapis, I'm Tom McCarthy.